send you a personal daily devotional time with the blessed person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome once again to Morning Deal. We are having our devotion on the subject of the poison of blasphemy, the poison of blasphemy. Yesterday we learned that blasphemy shows contempt or irreverence for God. And um, if you do remember, we said that to blaspheme is to speak in an irreverent way about God or sacred things. In that, we saw the example of the scribes speaking irreverently uh, about the ministry of Jesus and how come that he was able to do the things that he was doing. Well, they knew better where Jesus got his power from. And so they were telling the world that he has Beelzebub and by the prince of the devils, um, he casted out devils. <laughs> so we saw that yesterday, but today we want to see how that some Christians show irreverence towards sacred things. Yes, beloved, there's such a thing as sacred things. Through experience, I have discovered that it is not only unbelievers who make this mistake. What mistake? The mistake of blasphemy, the mistake of speaking uh, irreverently about God, the mistake of speaking irreverently about sacred things. Don't be fooled. It's not just unbelievers who do this particular thing or um, indulge in this poison of the tongue. It's not just unbelievers. Now, born again Christians also make the mistake of blaspheming, uh, blaspheming with their tongues. Can a Christian blaspheme? Well, yes, they do. Look at the definition of blasphemy again. Um, what is it? It is speaking irreverently about God or speaking irreverently about sacred things. Now, ministers of the gospel are in a certain sense uh, sacred. Um, they have been anointed, David, um, uh, God said, concerning David, I found my servant David, and with my sacred oil have I anointed him. So David, in that sense, was made sacred by the sacred oil that was poured upon him. So the ministers of God, pastors, reverend ministers, apostles, prophets, uh, pastors, evangelists, and all teachers are uh, in some great extent what you can refer to as sacred. Now, this is because these people or group of people have been set aside to minister the holy things of the Lord. It is a very common thing for Christians to speak irreverently against preachers they do not even know. Uh, when all they have heard about you is a rumor of a publication that is filled with half-truths, unless you are not experienced or have never experienced such. So, you will see Christians that take the seat of judgment uh -huh, and they begin to castigate um, a minister, a called person on the basis of a half-truth publication. Whenever you 
accuse a minister whenever you accuse uh, a, a pastor an evangelist a healing evangelist you know an apostle of being a false prophet uh, whenever you accuse them of being a deceiver um, if you do say that they are anointed of the devil um, if you call a minister a drug pusher or an occultist or a fornicator beloved be careful you could easily be blaspheming if you notice there are some journalists or broadcasters who are very confidently what they do is they bunch up all uh, men of god and then they speak they write um, with a lot of irreverence about them if ordinary men beloved would sue you in court for slander for um, defamation do you not think that jehovah nisi will also take you that is defaming his servants to the high court of the universe for defaming his servants defaming his church careful <laughs> so now every christian must be careful about the comment he or she makes about god's servant that is the truth these people are sacred and i've said to you that that sacredness stems from the fact that they have been set aside specially to minister the holy things for god so careful dear child of god when you begin to castigate and um you know speed a lot of rhetorics uh vitroy leaks against the servants of god you didn't appoint them god did you didn't appoint them god did you have no right dear child of god to interfere with things that do not concern that that concerns them you you do not you are not given that liberty child of god listen carefully you are not given that liberty now i want to say here that there are some people who have the proclivity to interfere with things that do not concern them oh yeah um you can liken this uh, interference to meddling with someone's marriage when you have not been asked to meddle with it you see some people in the church if for example the pastor is not married and all that wants to have a say in who he should marry uh-huh and when he's not even married to whoever they feel he should marry to they want to control the marriage of these sacred people so you will see a lot of comments and interferences child of god stop it stop it stop it i want you today to realize that you have setting responsibilities in the body one of them one of them is not the responsibility to interfere in the matter of sacred things or sacred people it is not your responsibility there are sacred things um, another sacred thing is money you know um, often you see the church castigated when it comes to money the monies of the church money is a sacred thing you may not believe it is a sacred thing and it is what is used in fostering the growth the vision 
and all that. So when you begin to make certain comments, you will be surprised that you are touching sacred things. Beloved, this morning we came to look at how some Christians um, show irreverence towards sacred things. They speak against sacred things. It, it is not just unbelievers who commit this sin. No, it's not just unbelievers. Some Christians in the church do exactly this. They do exactly this believe you me and i believe that we are learning to not show irreverence to sacred things our heavenly father we thank you your teaching molds us your counsel guides us we've come this morning we've received your counsel and we've received your guidance help us lord to become a people that shows utmost reverence for sacred things thank you blessed holy spirit in jesus mighty name amen amen beloved what a blessing i will leave you for now definitely Morning Dew continues tomorrow on this channel. Your day is blessed. Goodness and His mercies will follow you every hour of your day. You will see the grace of God and the goodness of God upon your life. You are blessed. Shalom. Amen.